In this video, we will walk you through a code query demo so you can better understand the platform. Now inside the example checks folder, you'll see the different demo use cases. For this example, we are going to explore the plagiarism tests with different methods folder. Once inside, you'll see a tab bar with different screens for viewing the different code plagiarism results. Let's first start with the insights page. The insight screen is going to provide you an important overview of all the submissions checked. Here you'll see the variance of the sample. Variance measures the difference between maximum and minimum scores in your group of submissions. The higher the variance, the more likely there is plagiarism. The submissions overview area to the right provides a sorted list of the group and web scores of each submission. And finally, the match composition provides a percentage indicator of what sources the plagiarism was coming from. The next page is the group overview, which is important for those interested in the code similarities between files. A big part of this page is taken up by the cluster graph, which gives you a nice visual representation of how similar submissions are to one another. The big thing to spot here is the distance between submissions. This shows how similar overall submissions are. An instant red flag is a cluster of submissions which can potentially show collaboration or sharing of code. To the right is our all local comparisons table that will sort in order from most similar to least similar. And below is a top similarity chart which allows you to visually see which samples stand out. The last and final code plagiarism review page is the results tab. Starting with the left, you will notice the Match Explorer. The Match Explorer will display all matches found for the current selected file. Peer matches are displayed first along with a similarity score and then web matches. You can change the match you are viewing by clicking on the drop down and select the sample you want to analyze. We are going to select the T4 algorithm code snippet from the drop down. As you can see, the submission was flagged with some GitHub results. Clicking on the match will open the file side by side with the code on the match found. If it is a match, you will also be provided with a blue URL link of the web page found. Now you know how to interpret and use the code query code checker to better understand results. If you have further questions, please refer to our usage guide or help desk.